All right, hello everybody and welcome back. Another quick video about Android Auto Wireless, and this is a new feature I recently found out about, and uh, I wanted to make this video so that you guys would also know about this feature in case you already didn't, because it was a shock to me. I have one of those car stereos that's not a widescreen, so it doesn't get that fun update that has the split screen where it has the uh, the maps on one side and it'll show like your Spotify playlist or whatever on the other side or whatever song is playing. The new split screen thing that they did, but it's not applicable to all headsets. Turns out, however, that Android Auto Wireless allows you to set your, change your DPI settings and you can enable this feature uh, and it, you might find this handy, you might not, uh, but you can enable this feature for yourself if you really like it. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So basically, as you can see, if I go to my AA Wireless Config icon right here, I'm gonna go to my AA wire or my, excuse me, my settings let it connect for a second so it's connected one of the options on here is called change dpi and the dpi is currently set to zero which is the default i've played with the numbers and I figured out the best for my particular vehicle if i change this to 103 and hit save and you'll wait it's going to reset android auto here in just a minute and you'll see the screen flicker and when this comes back you'll see that it is set up in that that widescreen mode. Granted, when it comes back, I'll probably have the uh, map part of it blurred out a little bit, so I'm not giving away my exact location because it's gonna re-default to exactly where I'm at. But let's give it a minute and you guys will see. It's about to connect. There we go. Look at this. We got we got widescreen going on here. We got the song I was listening to on Spotify over on this side. We got the map going on this side. It's actually, it's pretty cool. Uh, I will say, the reason that they don't enable this for all cars, non-widescreen cars, it does get a little bit difficult to read. It's a little bit small over here. The directions are kind of strange because they don't seem to, if I do a direction, it doesn't actually put me in like the center of the screen. It was where the center of the screen would be. So it gets a little bit off to the side. It's a little bit strange to follow. Um, and then, like I said, the text is a little bit small and it's harder to read some things like that. Uh, I'll show you some of the other DPI settings because you don't need to use 103. And I don't know if 103 is right for you. It's probably based on the size of the screen and the way it does scaling. So I think this is an eight inch screen. So if you have an eight inch screen like me or anybody, any of the sync three modules that are out there, uh, 103 is probably going to be quote unquote the best for you because I'll show you if I change it to something else such as let's change it to like 75 and you're going to notice a sorry I changed it to 75 and now it's resetting over here and you will notice when this reboots a completely different text size and things like that so you can figure out what works best for you but we'll see when it pops back up there we go, about to pop back up, here we go. And now look, 75, like look how teeny, oh, hold on, yeah. You can see how teeny this text is and everything. This is basically like impossible to read on here. So this would not be, you know, something I would want to use. And I will even say, I will admit, at 103, with which is, once you go to 104, it kind of like reverts back. Like 103 seems to be the highest it can actually get set to. So if I go 104 and when this thing resets, you'll see. It'll take it a minute again. But 104 seems to, or 103 seems to be the highest it gets to. This just kind of keeps it a, a non split screen anymore. Uh, so the best I can possibly do for this vehicle is the DPI setting of 103, which is what you had seen. See, so now we're right back to, see, so now we're right back to like a normal display uh, where everything's back on the bottom again. So it's, Really interesting to see. We'll just do one more just for fun. We'll change this all the way down to like 10. Oh, it's actually way quicker. <laughs> Look at that, it's got, this, it's got the playlist is on the side over here. Like it doesn't even know how to render this at 10. I mean, that's how. That's how insane it is. But it gives you a lot of control and customizability, which is, customization, I should say, customizability, what a great word. Uh, a lot of customization that you can do, and there's probably a bunch of other features here in the Android Auto world that would make this thing just be, you know, nice to, to play with. I can, you can remove the tap restrictions what is it that remove tap restrictions? When enable this option, will allow more than six consecutive taps. 
Um, I don't have any need for that. Disable audio sync. I'm assuming S-Y-N-K is what that was supposed to say. Um, I don't know what the VAG crash is, start, stop, pass through. I've never used any of these other items, so there's probably some really cool things I can do with this, but change DPI is the one that I really wanted to point out to everybody uh, because I just think it's a feature that I personally have been utilizing. It takes a little bit of getting used to on this size display, but you figure out what works for you. You might figure out that it's the... Um, it's the best thing. This is like the perfect screen for me. Uh, it is a little bit harder to read than everything on there. And I will say, well, then the map taking up the full screen, it's harder to read. And I will say, I don't get that much benefit out of having my Spotify right here. I don't know if there's a different like dual screen thing that would be easier for me to utilize, but usually I'm looking at the map and playing music on Spotify. So this is what my default is going to be. I mean, I can even go look, you can swap clicking that button and it swaps them and it just tells me it's just a list of directions now though i wonder what happens if i open up some other apps like can i get my calendar up there we go now i got a calendar um swapping those things around uh, i guess i could pull up hangouts game snacks i don't know what that is my game snacks are on here whatever that is but i mean i think i think it's pretty cool and just a feature i wanted to let you guys know about that existed. So if you guys want to tell you if you had an Android Auto Wireless or if this is a reason that you might want to purchase an Android Auto Wireless, I think it's a great feature to have. Whether it's beneficial or not, I don't know. But you can make your non-widescreen display get that widescreen split screen that Android Auto has now introduced. So thanks for watching, guys. I know it was a little bit long for as simple, of a, simple as this is, but I'm excited. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.